In a smoky cafe late one night, I sat alone at my table, sipping on my glass of wine by candlelight. I was so new to this vibe and not sure what to expect. As Sade played softly, I heard the host announce the poet up next. As I watched him walk to the stage, I thought to myself, he looked like the average man. In fact, in most circumstances, I wouldn't have even noticed him. But see, something happened as he took his hand and slowly wrapped it around the mic and took it from the stand. Our eyes met and I became hypnotized. And as his mouth opened and his lips part like Moses had done to the Red Sea, the voice that resurrected from his soul did not even match his body. He had the most seductive voice I'd ever heard, and before I know, knew it, it was love at first words. He then went on to speak of his philosophies and how he would worship the body of his woman, and I envisioned her to be me. I let the movements of his tongue and my imagination take me to a place of ecstasy with immediate gratification that I didn't even know could exist without a physical connection. My flesh was on fire. Lingering on to every word, wanting more as my body became engulfed in desire. Feeling as if I were the only woman in the world and his words were written just for me. Not realizing there were a whole lot of other people caught up in the room. See, this was just pure fantasy. But as I listened to his tone and pitched and flexed, I could feel the beads of sweat start to trickle down my neck. And as he finished his last verse, leaving me feeling vulnerable, yet satisfied at the same time, I wondered how someone could make my toes curl by just playing with my mind. And after this episode, I traveled to many other poetic venues in search of my next fix, but see, nothing ever could compare from close to this, because as a woman, your first time may hurt, but your first poetic orgasm will reach a plateau where all others will fail. It is mind over matter, metaphors, words, and verbs that somehow touch your soul and spread like wildfire down your spine as it exposes every nerve. The next thing you know, you'll find yourself warm and moist. Almost like Rick, because willing or not, you have no choice. So ladies, take my advice. Instead of spreading, open your legs, open up your mind, and let him in even for one spoken word piece. Because a poet with the right words is like a man with a strong back. He will fulfill your every need. Yeah.